Hi, I'm going to be talking about computer keyboards. Now, most people actually use them wrong that I've seen, and how to use them right, how to use a wrist rest, wrist rest right, and most people use them wrong, and how to make a wrist rest in three seconds or less. Hi, my name is Hilma Volk, and I was a massage therapist for over 23 years, and I'm also the creator of the program Carpal Tunnel Master. And if you would like a free five-part video program, just go to that little air circle-y thing up there and click on it and that'll take you to it. But first, let's talk about keyboards. So a lot of times when I talk about ergonomics, people say, oh, I tried an ergonomic keyboard, I didn't like it, and their mind shuts down and not listen to anything else I want to say. I'm not talking about ergonomic keyboards, so don't even think there, okay? I'm talking ergonomics, meaning how your body fits the equipment that you've got. So, what a lot of people do that I've seen, they're resting their, resting their wrist on the table and typing like that. No, you should have your hands float over the keyboard and you want the keyboard as close to you as possible. So when your keyboard's close to you, you want your arms, your upper arms, straight down. That way you're not putting any strain on your shoulders. You're putting the minimal amount of effort on your forearms. And, you know, people are typing like this. That's hard on your shoulders eventually if you do it long enough. Doing it like this, not a good idea. What you want is the back of your hand and the back of your forearm in a straight line as much as possible as much of the time as possible when you've got your hands like this your hands have to go around corners the tendons that's inside your carpal tunnel have to go around corners and I discussed that in other videos as to why that's a bad thing but over time going around corners can damage you in the long run potentially so you want your hands floating above the keyboard. Also, when your hands down like this, when you press on the space bar, your thumb muscles in here are working. You don't need to do that. Just simply press like this. Let your bigger muscles do the work. That can put strain on these muscles. They get tired and puffy. And people think, well, they're swollen up. You've got uh, actually muscles that are overused. Uh, eventually. And also, there's a Dequervian syndrome that can be uh, acquired from doing too much with your thumb. So, you want to be floating over the keyboard with your fingers so they're not going like this and that or like this and that. And another thing I see is people have these keyboards raised up. Most of them have snaps on the bottom. So it makes it even worse. More around the corner, and even worse, people are standing up and typing like this. Look how bad that is on your hands. That can produce a lot of problems. Eventually, that can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. Now, what about wrist rest? Well, most people use them wrong because a wrist rest, contrary to what some manufacturers say, is not for resting your wrist on while you're typing. According to authorities, and if you look at ergonomic sites, uh, ergonomics is simply matching your body to your equipment. You want your hands not resting on a wrist rest. Well, why do they call it a wrist rest? Wrist rests are for resting your hands on when they're not in use. You don't have a wrist rest? Well, neither do I, so I'm going to make one. So here, abracadabra, I have an ordinary towel. You can use a dish towel or a hand towel, whichever is the right thickness for you, and voila! I have a wrist rest. Now, if it starts to come apart, if you think it's, it's falling apart on you, you can put a rubber band on each end, maybe even a rubber band in the middle. Voila, a wrist rest. A wrist rest is not to be resting your, <laughs> resting your wrist on because, look, you're still going around the corner. You're still doing that thumb motion that can hurt you. So, it's to rest your hands on when you're not typing. That's the only purpose. 
And the additional purpose of my wrist rest, which you will not find in the manufactured ones, is if you spill coffee or water, voila, you don't have to look for a towel. <laughs> I'm Hilma Volk. You can like this video or not. Leave a comment below. Sign up for my free uh, five-part series. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Thank you.